Welcome back friends. Kwa wale ambao ni watazamaji wa video zangu kwenye video ilipita to discuss kuhusu inductive effect na tuliona positive inductive effect. Kwa hiyo time is not enough so sometimes I'm forced to record this video during a night time in order to cope with the challenge of time. So today we are going to continue and as I said in the previous uh, video that today we will go to discuss about the mesomeric or resonance effect in organic compounds. So we shall see the concept of a mesomeric effect and then we will discuss a few things about the effects of the mesomeric effect to different uh, kinds of organic compounds. Kwa hiyo, tuanze session yetu. Kama unajua kwa mba natakuwa natumia notes zangu, na kwa hota kwa kwa nataka notes peke yake, basi utazipata kwenye application ya Dr. Mlelo Lecturers, Play Store, ila kwa hoya mba utakuwa ume, umelipia kipindi, that means notes utapewa free. So, tutanza, eh, First, before going to discuss about the mesomeric or resonance effect, lazima tuwe tuna a brief introduction. Yani, kena unachanda kudiscuss kwenye mesomeric au kwenye resonance effect ni kitu biani. So, in introduction, we are saying that uh, sometimes it is not possible to represent the molecule or ion with one structure. More than one structure have to be proposed. So a molecule or an ion cannot be presented with one structure. So more than one structure they are proposed. That means scientists want to sit, want to a cow, then want to propose more than one structure for certain molecule. But none of them express all the observed properties of the actual molecule. So the actual molecule tend to have a certain kinds of property. To have some properties, to have a chemical, physical. So the actual molecule in a corner different chemical and different physical properties. Like in Bado, Zila suggested structures or the Zinakwa as you as you a majibu or kuleta properties za yule actual molecule. So to not accept the common the solution is to light a weighted average of all valid structure which explains the properties. So common na structure, let's say tattoo is a structure that will alternate in as a kawa hii then ika change kawa nyingine ika change kawa nyingine so tunandika average weighted average so tunandika weighted average average weighted average of the structure then the weighted average of the structure will be like a, a proposed structure about to assume this is the structure of a, of a molecule. Now from there, tunasema kwamba, this condition is usually referred to as resonance or mesomerism or delocalization. So normally, what causes the structure to change is because of the delocalization of the electrons. Delocalization. Now, tunaposema localized. Localized. That means each kitu kina kwa kina position plan. Tunasema ni localized. Laki tukisema de-localization. That means tumeweka ukunyuma ni. De-localization. That means electrons zinakuwa. They have no specific location in a molecule. So they tend to move from one location in the molecule to another location. That's what we are calling as de-localization. So... When organic compounds, some of the organic compounds, they tend to, to have a property of delocalization because the molecules, in, uh, I mean the electrons in these molecules, they tend to move, they are not stationary. So we are saying that the representation of structure of a molecule is a weighted average of two or more hypothetical structures which only differ by the arrangement of electrons but with the same position of electrons is referred to as resonance. So our best example is in the benzene. Our benzene can be presented as either can be presented as either uh, this way 
Now you see we have two double bonds alternating. Up and up and two double bonds. Then up and two, up and two, up and two, up and two. Luckily, we can also write this benzene. We can also write this benzene as to not to get you up in the structure of benzene. Co benzene to not go on a cobel. Co e. Let's say this bond can be localized. These electrons of this bond they can be localized to this position. That means if these electrons they localize to this position, then these electrons will be localized to this position, and these electrons will be localized to this position. That means electron of the bond you will remove when the bond is apart. Now we will be able to remove. So the result will be we are able to remove when the bond is apart. You will find. So, is yapa is the transita kama resonant structures, resonant structures. Na kichofani kapa ni the localization of electrons. That means electrons zime toka kapa zime be localized. Zime ondoka kwenye the normal position. Zime na kwenye position ingi. Na zoe zime be localized na yule pali zime be localized. That's what you call as be localization. So to now present this structure a bit of benzene. Now to go here, all of all, the property to write a comma resonance. So mesomerism, mesomerism refers to the delocalization of electron pair within the given molecule in such a way that in such a way that in such a way that it creates fractional charges on different parts of the molecule. So mesomerism, the delocalization of electron refers to the delocalization of electrons within a molecule, delocalization of electrons pair, some bond in electron pair. So mesomerism refers to the delocalization of electrons pair in a given molecule, delocalization of electrons pair in a, in a given molecule, in such a way that it, it creates functional charges, it creates fractional, not functional. Fractional charges on different parts of molecule. So in a kind of move, that means uh, sometimes this movement of electrons highly complete. So in a kind of move, we can let come a positive charge, then end up creating come a negative charge, partial like any fractional charges, so complete charges, fractional charges. So mesomerism involves the existence of organic organic chemical structure that cannot be accurately represented by using structure but the actual structure is lying in the in the intermediate between several possible representation that only define the position of electrons so nona kama hapa position ya electron ya bond hapa zimungu na pale zimungu na pale so that means we have no specific allocation of electrons and then finally we are drawing the structure of benzene as we are drawing the structure of benzene as and this way, and then here at the center, we are drawing a dotted line, eh? dotted line. After having a dotted line, eh? a dotted cycle. After having a dotted cycle, we are drawing the direction of the localization of the electron that they are moving in this way. Because upper manzoni to the same electron, no one is move. So is a move. Upper is a move. Kwenda. If it's there, upper is a move. Kwenda. So this cycle will be. That is the representation or the average, the weighted structure of benzene. But this is not the actual, it's not the actual structure of benzene, it's just the weighted structure of benzene. Or it's just like a, you know, the average of the uh, different structures of benzene due to mesomerism. Now, we can go to discuss about the silent features of mesomeric effect. What are the features which can favor the existence of the mesomeric effect in the molecule? As we discussed in inductive effect about the silent features of inductive effect, now let's move to the silent features of a mesomeric effect or resonance. Uh, the hypothetical structure with a different arrangement of electrons but with the identical position of atoms are called the resonance structure or contributing structures. Now, in our example, this, if we call it as number one and this is number two, the number one and number two, they are called as resonant, uh, resonant structures. They are called as resonant structures. 
Sometimes they are called as the contributing structures because they are contributing to the uh, actual structure of the molecule. Actually, this is not the actual structure, but it's just like in the average of the structures. So this, it's not the actual structure, but it's just the average of, of structures. So we are saying that in the resonance structure, resonance structures are only imaginary, and the actual structure of the molecule is considered as a hybrid of the valid resonance structure. So, who you know you, when you call it what you variable, ni contributing, they contributing to the average structure. So this is the average structure of the molecule, and this one and this one, they are just contributing structures of the molecule, just contributing. So they are just contributing to the final structures, contributing to the final structure. So resonance hybrid, when we are talking of the resonance hybrid, resonance hybrid, refer to the weighted average of the contributing structure. What happens at the final stage here? Here happens the resonance hybrid. Here the average of these two structures, the weighted average of the two contributing structures. The energy of resonance hybrid is always less than the energy of any of the contributing resonance structure. So we have an aqua and a less energy. Remember to discuss in general chemistry, na hata kwenye baadhi ya concept of introduction to organic chemistry. Tukasema kwamba always kitu kinapokuwa stable that means kinapokuwa kina less energy. That means the resonant structure or the contributing structure they are less stable. And since they are less stable, they will have higher energy. But the resonance hybrid, it has less energy, but more stable. These have higher energy, but less stable. This has lower energy, but more stable. So in other words, we can say that stability varies inversely proportional to the energy possessed by a molecule. If the molecule will possess a higher energy, that means it will be less stable. And if the molecule possesses a lower energy, that means it will be more stable. Lower energy, more stable. Higher energy, less stable. So, we are saying that the resonance structures are formed due to delocalization of electrons and not by changing the position of atoms. So, for example, here in this uh, molecule of benzene, in this molecule of benzene, here we have a carbon, 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 carbon, and then we have carbon. So, the positions of carbon, they don't change. The position of atoms, they don't change. But what happens is simply the delocalization of electrons. And as I explained that delocalization, that means the electrons, they are moving. Electron pair, the movement of electron pair, from the location then to another location within the molecule, creating a fraction of charges in that molecule. Creating a fraction of charges in that, in that molecule. So we are saying that the localization of electron is shown by using curved arrows. Curved arrows. principles of showing mechanisms of organic reactions, the full curved arrows are full the arrows they show the movement of the pair of electrons. So even here in the delocalization, yeah, when we are drawing the structure like benzene, when we are drawing the structure like benzene, and then we are we are just writing this way. He arrow the corner monyesha a movement of full electrons, the movement of the pair of electrons. So one should keep in mind that the individual resonance structure do not exist, and the molecule do not resonate. The molecule do not resonate, that means do not switch back and forth between structures. The actual molecule is simply the hybrid of these imaginary resonant structure. Remember, we say the resonant structure, they are imaginary one, so they are not actual. If they are imaginary, what happens in normal life is this one, which is the hybrid. So this one, this one, we can say they are imaginary, imaginary. So if they, they are imaginary, that means they don't exist. Hypothetical, to not say hypothetical, that means 
an object or something or molecule which cannot exist in normal life, but as if it exists. So the resonant structure they don't exist actually, but they are simply a hypothetical structure. They are simply hypothetical structures which tend to build the actual structure of the molecule, which tend to build the actual structure of the molecule. So that is very important for you to understand it. And uh, it's very important for you to understand if we are, when we are discussing about the, about the resonance. Call to the MIB, to the MIB. Hence, the localization of electron is always imaginary process. Imaginary process, which help in understanding the resonance. Help in understanding the resonance, but it is uh, the imaginary process is how we have presented here in benzene. Is how we have presented here in in a benzene. So the contributing structures are always shown by linked using the double double heated arrow. In the connection of a transaction is a benzene, then to now That means the, there can be a resonance. Yani, who you are a switch when they do like in, that is an imaginary process. Remember, you an imaginary process. To now the is contributing structure now a yoapu. Kunyesha kama vile zip kuna kuna kitu wa kina ndeya pala kini actually huwa hakiendele icho chote. So therefore, electrons pair which may be involved in mesomeric movement include those that exist in atoms as free negative charge electron pair, lone pairs and pi bond electron pair. So they can be free, free negative charge Free negative charge, electron pair, then can it be lone pair, or can it be pi bond, pi bond electron pair. In the free negative charge, electron pair. Abono to kona, kina to mungu nini? It is the pair of electrons. Pair, not one electron, a pair. Of electrons. So, compound molecule to the nation about the benzene. When the benzene is the electrons which are involved, they are the pi bond electrons. So, one is in the cause of the move, so they are pi bond electrons. When the benzene is Sigma bonds are not involved in the mesomeric effect. Why? Why they are not involved in the mesomeric effect? This is due to the high bond strength and avoiding. Primary search of the compound itself. So, come as sigma bond in your sister when you have so many That means the primary structure of the uh, molecule in the core distracted, in the core distracted, and hence in the core in the chaki pusan. So, when there are so many people, remember to say money, uh, just an imaginary process. It doesn't exist in, in real life. So, if the sigma bond involved in the mesomeric movement would result into a molecule. Breaking into fragments, thereby destroying the molecule itself. So, even if I want to assemble, what are the conditions now which favor the mesomeric effect? So, conditions are which favor mesomeric effect. There are three conditions which favor mesomerism of electrons. Three conditions which are favor mesomerism of electrons. Now, these questions always they come uh, directly. They come directly at the yard. So question, uh, point number one, our condition number one, the molecule or compound must be conjugate. Must be conjugate. Now, to now we conjugate in a kwamba, lazima you in a pi bond in alternative positions. We have to say benzene to do it. We have benzene in a kwa in a structure of my yopo. We have to control it in a new bapo. We have to say that you have benzene. Benzene to control it. So, when I talk about the Taikapa, I talk about the Taikapa. So, we store the benzene. We store the benzene. We store the benzene. This is it. Uh, this is another Kituko. Uh, this is another Kituko. It is not a benzene actually. This is another, another Kituko. But this one is the structure of benzene. So you have to try to uh, find out how to do benzene. Benzene is the same as you can do. If you do it, you can do it. 
unakuwa umechora eh, vibanda fulani hivi ni vitufu fulani so nilikuwa naonyesha tu jinsi ya kuchora eh, benzini kuchora benzini lakini the more you must be conjugate tunasema kwamba a conjugate compound is the compound which has sigma and pi bond situated in alternate way sigma and pi bond is situated in alternate way so sigma bond sigma bond sigma bond pi bond pi bond pi bond unaona the sigma and pi bond they are situated in alternate way that's what we call it the conjugate molecule the sigma and pi bond are arranged in a alternating system in a alternating system our good example is benzene how about we compare in benzene what happens when you summarize you in benzene to the chora pale na sasa tuna chora tena what happens in a in the summarize mko katika benzene molecule eh katika benzene molecule summarize tunakuwa tuna benzene yetu ile pale ya kwanza so benzene ya kwanza ile pale then you hapa anakuwa na summarize tunakuwa tuna tuna contributing structure mwingine pale contributing structure mwingine then after that we hapa anakuwa na namna ile pale after that how hapa tunawaleta wanakuwa kwenye average wanamleta structure yule pale ambaye tunakuwa tunamchora kama vile so simply hiyo hapo unaweza kaweka tu hata sec hapo katikati hata complete sec so sometimes it is will be dotted kama ni kuelezea mwanzo lakini sometimes unaweza kaweka kaweka hata complete so this are called as resonant structure resonant structure na hii inaitwa kama hybrid hybrid structure is in resonant upfire mwingine ni hybrid structure so the localization of pi bond electron pair result into hybrid structure ambayo ndo structure of the benzene which is this one the pi one so note that it, resonant structures must be enclosed in a square bracket kama hapo tumezinclose hapa the resonant structure kwenye square bracket electron pair involved in, in mesomeric movement are stabilized by the localization therefore the resulting structure obtained after after mesomerism is called hybrid structure so this is the hybrid structure which has resulted from mesomerism remember we say the mesomeric effect or the localization of electron is just an assumption so it it doesn't actually happens but it's just uh, it's just an uh, uh, hypothetical tuna tuna yani tuna tunakuwa tu tuna kama tunadhania ile lakini ni kitu ambacho hakitokei is just an hypothetical is just an hypothetical so tunasema hivi eh tunasema hivi tunasema hivi feature ya pili hiyo feature ya kwanza feature ya kwanza tumesema molecule lazima iwe conjugate feature ya pili the second condition of mesomeric mesomerism of electron pair is when an atom which has a lone pair is attached to carbon which itself has bonded to adjacent atom by pi bond. Ona maelezo hapo sasa. Hapo ni kwamba tunasema organic chemistry inaanza kuwa ni topic nzuri. Hebu sikia hiyo, sikia kitu hiyo. Sikia kitu hiyo tufute kwanza hapo bao. Au sikia hiyo, hiyo point hiyo. Sikia hiyo point hiyo. Anasema hivi, anasema hivi, when an atom having lone pair is bonded to carbon Sikia mbele sana. Tunasema atom which has lone pair is attached to carbon which itself has bonded to adjacent atom by pi bond. So kwanza huyu atom atom ana nini? Ana lone pair. Atom ana lone pair. Lakini huyu atom ame bond to nani? To carbon. Na huyu carbon ame bond to another atom by pi bond. Another atom anada atom hapa tu tunani tuna pi hii ndio condition ya mbili summarization yani when an atom having lone pair is bonded to carbon which has bonded to another carbon by pi bond when an atom having lone pair is bonded to carbon which has bonded to another atom by lone pair so for example tunakuwa tuna r c double bond o 
Then hapa mbele kuna So M ni just hypothetical. M ni mfano tu fulani. So M kama ni mfano wa atomi yetu huyu M that means ana nini? Ana ni pair. Na yule hapa ana nini? Ana pi. So mesomeric effect inaweza kutokea kati ya huyu hapa. Remember tutaja magrupu matatu ya electrons. Tulisema kuna 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 kwa kuna a e, pi bond electrons lone pair pamoja na free negative charge electrons. So huyu hapa wanaweza kufanya mesomerism kati ya huyu na huyu. Hao wadogo huyu hao wadogo huyu hao. Electrons za pi bond na za lone pair wote wako hapo. Hizi hapa ni categories of electrons. Categories of electrons electrons Categories of electrons pairs Categories of electrons pairs which can be involved in uh, involved in mesomeric effect So these are just the categories of electrons pairs which can be involved in the mesomeric effect Now I was a corner bumper Lone pair electrons and the pi bond electrons zote zipo hapo kwenye hizo categories. So example of the compounds which is the functional group similar to the given above they include amide they include amide now amide amide they are written as amide ambazo ni R C double bond O then NH2 hapo kuna lone pair then kuna acyl chloride acyl chloride is it took on a carboxylic acid it upon the r c double bond o then ya pamber to ko tuna chlorine chlorine and the lone pair as we know and then from there we have esters esters the derivatives of the carboxylic acids we have r c double bond o then o uh, then R. So, hapo nana loni pea, pi bond. Loni pea, pi bond. Uyo oxy na loni pea, a loni pea bini. From there, tuna... Yeah. So, easy hapa, when you have different kinds of compounds, unwezo kuhana F, jinsigena mbago resonance, au mesomerism, inakuwa natokea. Resonance, au mesomerism, inakuwa natokea kwenye these compounds. So, kwa mpano kwenye kwenye amide unaona tunakuwa tuna R C down O Okay R C down O then NH2 lonely pair So what happens to the same is electrons zinaweza zinaweza kudilocalize zinaweza kudilocalize that means is electrons hapo kama zinatengeneza kaseko hivi So kila tukwepo ah uh, huyu anaweza kampa electron yule pale huyu hapa anaweza kampa electron yule pale so what happens hapa inatokea r of the c hapa mara tutakuwa kuna bond moja o two lone pairs negative then hapa negative hapa itakuwa ni double bond sawa so, huyo mimba electron carbon so the bond will be formed between an atom which donate electron and the one which receives electron so hapa itakuwa double bond hapa itakuwa positive charge from there is it not to structure kitakachotokea tena hapa baadaye finally this will come back here and this bond will be broken to release electrons here That's what will happen. But the two structures, they are regarded as the resonant structures. They are regarded as the resonant structure, which tend to build the final structure of amide. And the final structure of amide is this one I'm about to go to me to me and dig up a chin. So up on a coconut delocalization of electrons, I'm also in a precaria are building a area final structure for amide building a final structure for ama ile ambayo tunaifahamu. So tutaenda kuona kwenye notes hapo wewe mwenyewe tunakuona 
kuna kwa kuna different groups of compounds hapo zimechorwa hapo in office kwa hiyo mimi hapo sita ziandika zote kwa sababu kinachotokea ni kile kile tu kinachotokea ni kile kile na movement yako ni ile bond zinavyotengenezwa zinafanana zinafanana tu so for example eh kwa mfano labda kwenye 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 carboxyl acid R C double O then O H in carboxyl acid two lone pairs that means we are to release electrons parallel we are to release electrons hapo or in other words we are to release electrons kwa carbon then after that what will happen itakuwa ni R C single bond O negative two lone pairs eh negative two lone pairs then double bond oxygen positive charge after having positive charge one lone pair hydrogen so what will happen we are to release for the carbon we are going to the conjugate tampa will happen these are the resonant structures ambazo zikiamba go delocalization 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 is up the percaling formation of a structure which is r then c double bond o then o h so actually this is just an hypothetical hiyo ni nini hypothetical ni hypothetical so actually in real life the localization of electrons uh, doesn't happen kama mambo tunaisema lakini hiyo ni nini hypothesis so from there ni third condition tuna move kwenda kwenye third condition the third condition is when an atom which carries a negative charge is bonded to a carbon which is then bonded to an adjacent atom having pi bond this condition is somehow a similar to the second one but this involves other uh, other groups of electrons kwamba hapa tunakuwa tuna atom when an atom with a negative charge with a negative charge is bonded to carbon which is bonded to another atom another atom by pi bond so the difference hapa ni kwamba tuna atom with a negative charge na pi bond remember is factor tatu nizoelezea kwamba Eh, mwenye yule ambaye ni conjugate molecule anakuwa na pi bond. Then tumekuja kuona anakuwa na lone pair pamoja na pi bond. Now tunaona mwenye free negative charge electrons pamoja na nani? Na pi bond. So we have our different groups of organic compounds ambazo zinaweza kalai eh, kwenye kwenye kundi lao. Zinaweza kupatikana kwenye kundi lao. Tuna different organic compounds. So for example if we have r c double bond o then an atom let's say so now atom is bonded to carbon which is bonded to another atom by pi bond again uh, what happens it is the same kama ile problem mzuri so it will be r then c double bond o r c double bond o then single bond m negative this is big to supply here it a supply particle oxygen resonance r r single bond c the uh, upper single bond o negative two lone pairs and then after that tutakuwa tuna double bond m and uh, ile m inakuwa imeshapoteza ile ile negative charge yake So these are the resonant structure which when they are go the localization they lead into the formation of the hybrid structure they are the resonant structure so unaona hapo hichi ndicho ambacho niko na kielezea ni kwa na kielezea huyo ata supply pale m then huyo ata supply pale supply anake tutaweza tuto moleki kama hapo huyo ata supply hapo huyo ata supply So here you are just see uh, the example and our example is in the notes is the carboxylate ion carboxylate ion ambayo 
inakuwa ni carboxylic acid ambayo haina hydrogen carboxylic acid having no hydrogen yani for example for example for example tunapokuwa tuna tuna R C double bond O then O this is the carboxylic ion so what happens in the carboxylic ion we have R C double bond O then oxygen negative this negative will be donated to carbon then this will be donated to oxygen having two lone pairs what will happen here the cotton R C single bond O two lone pair negative charge double bond O then this O will become positive because it will be deprived of electrons kwa sababu electrons ta kwazi mechukulia mawi wapa we all have to become positive. Shall become positive, then what will happen? This O, eh, this will supply electrons here, and this bond will break to supply electrons here. These are the resonant structure. So when they undergo delocalization, when they undergo delocalization, delocalization, what will be the final structure now? It will be R. C double bond, I mean C single bond O, then oxygen and electrons will be delocalizing here. So you can give a home to Nandika. Now, Tayona is a good not say, hope everyone of you will be able to see the notes. I will be able to see the video. Come on, 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 video mepata free not see utazinunua so yote vile ambavyo utachagua utakuwa umepata kuona eh, jinsi gani ambavyo vitu vinako vina vinatokea na suggest usitumie notes nyingine zozote yani you do not understand so hata kama mpata video free just kata tu tu not see kata tu not see iweze kuelewa vizuri so tuna hiyo hapo tuna phenoxide ion phenoxide ion yeah, these are just examples in that condition. So, mpaka hapo, eh, tumepika kwenye, kwenye conditions, conditions which favor mesomeric effect. Conditions which favor mesomeric effect. Now we are moving, mm, we are moving to start just see the definition of mesomerism and uh, the categories of mesomerism. So, to share this castle of Mazzoni, like in, hapa tunaudia na maudio tuko subaku mgini tuko discussing kitu yote wamesha saao kabisa kusu definition ya resumerism na msingi hapa natakua tu wanaenda slow tuna stop kisha stop na uli nyuma angalia tena at the end of the day tadikuta at the end of the day tadikuta umesha leo lakini tunakwenda namna hiyo tunakwenda tunakwenda hivyo ndio gani kinazidi kuwa kuwa nzuri sasa nasema hivi mesomerism mesomerism refer as an effect au mesomerism effect refer as an effect arises in a molecule or compound due to electronic drawing or electron releasing effect of the subsequent of the Substituent through pi bond. So uh, difference between mesomerism and uh, an inductive effect ni kwamba hapa kuna koko na pi bond au kuna koko na categories of electrons ambazo zinaweza kuhusika kwenye mesomeric effect. Sio kila aina ya electrons yanahusika kwenye mesomeric effect. Au in other words we can say mesomeric effect is an effect which arises in a molecule or compound due to delocalization of electron pair through pi bond formation. So delocalization of electrons must involve the formation of pi bonds. Tunaona hapa kwenye different conditions kwamba hata kama awe ana lone pair pamoja na pi bond electrons au ana lone pair pamoja na electrons gani. Lakini at the end of the day tunakuta kuna kwa kuna formation nini of pi bond. So the formation of pi bonds ndio kitu ambacho kinapelekea eh, mwisho siku tuseme mesomeric effect lazima iform pi bond formation 
So mesomeric effect involves a change in the arrangement of electrons within a compound. Here to discuss, this involves an actual movement of electron pair in a compound. The electron pair may be presented at the pi bond. Lone pair in a neutral atom or electron pair from negative charge ions. As I will discuss the, and we mentioned the categories of electrons pair which can be involved in the mesomeric effect. So mesomerism effect are usually associated with the unsaturated compounds which have pi bonds, the young unsaturated one. If electrons are supplied by a subsequent sub, substituent group, if electrons supplied by the substituent group is said to be or is said to have positive mesomeric effect. But if and if electrons are taken up by subsequent group, by subsequent group, is said to be negative mesomeric effect. Both mesomeric effect involves the movement of electrons and atomic orbitals. So one thing you need to understand about the differentiation between the mesomeric and inductive effect is that mesomeric effect involves the movement of electrons pair uh, by forming the pi bonds. Movement of electrons paired within the molecule by forming pi bonds. In inductive effect, you don't have the movement of electron pairs, but just we have the withdrawal or the donation of electrons to a certain atom. However, the effect can be transferred to other groups of atoms through signal bond. Note mechanisms. Mechanism involves a movement that gives a new electron arrangement within that compound or molecule or ion. This is followed by a return to a new arrangement of electron resonance arises between the two arrangements of electron pairs in a molecule or ion between the resonant structure. So, ukiona kompano, tulikotu na tunachola benzene, let's say. Awa siyo benzene, let's say tutumie carboxyl kesi. Ara, C, W, and O, then O, H. So, this, let's say we call this structure number one. Now, after this, here we have bond pair, so this bond can be broken to here and this bond can be broken to carbon. So what will happen, we will have structure number two which is R, then C, uh, C single bond O, negative, uh, two lone pair, then you have oxygen, double bond, one lone pair, positive charge, then hydrogen. Now it's best to write this lone pair down. So from here, to not to say my name, from here, we are to donate tena hapa. I can donate up, we are to donate up in pile. So what will happen, uh, what will happen, I, I am explaining what I have read in the notes. So this is number two, and then number three will be similar to this one. So we'll, we'll go back to R, then C, uh, C double bond, O, then O, H. So here we have two long pairs, and uh, this will be started again, supplying electrons there and this supplying electrons here. So each in the token to our new phenomenon I say. Kwamba to remove total structure points, to calculate electrons by resonance. When I can structure big about reason, the third structure will be the same as the first one. The same as the first one. Open explanation to answer maybe. Mechanism involves a movement that gives a new electron arrangement. Movement electron to kappa is a new electron arrangement. About to enter number two. Another one. New electron arrangement within that compound or molecule. This is our new electron arrangement. Let's call this as the new, new electron, new electron arrangement. New electron arrangement. This is our structure number two. Then from there to Nasema, this is followed by a return to a new arrangement of electron resonance arises between the two arrangements of the electron pair in a molecule or ion between the resonance. So if we have another movement of electron, we will return back to the structure number one. But if we are drawing the hybrid of these structures, then we will say here we will have just the localization. Here we will have just the localization. Mm -hmm. We will have, um, we will draw what we call as a 
the square bracket. Then here we can say we have delocalization. Then here we can we can just we can just draw with him. Here we can just draw with him. There was a movement of electron. There was a movement of electron in this way. So, uh, even an example to Kwamba, to not go to the exact intersection structure. But actually, what happens in Kabuzin case is that we have R, R then C down O, O, H is your final structure of Kabuzin case. Is your final structure of Kabuzin case. So, even the Kwamba to me, to me, is there. Kono Jaksema ni Kwamba. The rapid intervention, rapid intervention resonance structure neither represent the actual structure of the molecule or ion. The actual straight, the actual structure is an intermediate between two structures. Actual structure is an intermediate between two structures. You have to make sure you say that to make sure you say that you have to make sure you say that you resonance, the actual structure will be this one. Actual structure to one you so, we illustrations notes. Now let's move to the uh, types of uh, mesomeric effect. So you can take uh, a break of few minutes, then we'll continue with the uh, types of uh, mesomeric effects.